In a previous video, we ranked every music track from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Now, we're going to be ranking the music from a little bit of a darker game, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Hey, what's going on? It's Ryan here from Game Essays. This channel is all about covering some of my favorite video game series, including The Legend of Zelda and Pokemon. We also sprinkle in some other games from now and then, from time to time, all that good stuff. So if you enjoy the content on this channel, make sure to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. It really goes a long way and thank you everyone for the support so far. So as I mentioned in a previous video, we did take a look at the soundtrack from A Link to the Past and rank every single track in that soundtrack that wasn't something like 10 seconds long. So anything that was like an actual piece of music more than just like a sound effect. Anyway, um, I did say I would rank the next game that got uh, some suggestions. So we did get a couple suggestions for Majora's Mask and I won't waste any more time. We're gonna go through every single track uh, that as I said, isn't like a sound effect or like 13 seconds long, something like that. We're going to look at the actual pieces of music that are probably like 40 seconds or longer. Um, there is a lot to get through. I underestimated how many were on here. But nevertheless, I had to build this myself, by the way. It took a while to get all the songs in here, but let's, let's go through it. Um, so we're going to start with the title theme. And this is... Quite a memorable title theme, although it is similar to other themes that, you know, we'll, we'll see. So it's going to be interesting how we rate it. But this is, you know, it's the Clock Town theme, but it's a little bit slower in the intro title. And it, I think this is the slowest it is because, as we know, other Clock Town themes based on the day that you're playing is a little bit faster. But this is like a nice peaceful opening, but... I'll skip to towards the end, things get a little more sinister before it straight up turns into Majora's theme. But anyway, I think this is a great title theme. It really sets the tone for the game. Is it my favorite version of the Clock Town theme? No, but I do think it gets an A for, like I said, setting the tone. It starts out as this nice peaceful theme, but if you listen to the end, it kind of hints towards some of the darker elements that are going to be ahead. So now we can go to, let's go to opening. So this is obviously the cutscene at the beginning of the game where Link's riding through the Lost Woods with Epona and before all the craziness happens. Just kind of skipping around a little bit. So then we kind of have the chaos here at the end. So I think this is a pretty good opening. Um, it's not like something I would listen to on like a, if I was listening to a Zelda playlist or something, but I do think it's a nice little opening music for, you know, for the game itself. Chase. So you can, um, I think this happens partly when you're going after Majora, after, you know, he takes Epona. Um, you're kind of going after him. But I think you also get this a couple other times in the game, like when Sakan maybe takes the bomb bag and things like that. But anyway, I think it's really solid and I would, I would put it at a B. Now we have Cavern. Let's see if I remember this. It's very like, subtle. Uh, so let's see, where is Cavern on here? So I'd probably put this at like a C. It's more of like atmospheric. It's not really something, again, you would really want to listen to. Majora's Theme. So Majora's theme, it's a little tricky because 
I think it's meant to be like dissonant. Like it's not supposed to sound pretty and nice because it's really kind of setting the mood for how like evil Majora is. Um, so I would I would probably put it at a B. It's definitely not my favorite music from the game, um, but it, it you know it's memorable. But like I said, it's not like amazing to me but i think it's it's kind of meant to be like i said it's meant to be unpleasant and give you that feeling so it definitely succeeds there but i just think you know this is going to be more like my favorite music but i think it's very solid clock tower so this is when i think you kind of go through like the warped hallway and you meet the happy mass salesman before you really exit to Clock Town. And I can use this time while the music's playing for me to find where it is. And here it is. So Clock Tower, I would give... Uh, not a C, I'll give the Clock Tower... In A, it is the Song of Healing, and I think there's a couple different versions of the Song of Healing we'll hear throughout the game, um, but this is definitely one of the cooler ones in my opinion. Happy Mass Salesman. So again, here's like Song of Healing again. Okay, so there's Happy Masses. So I would probably put this one at a B. It's not it's not as iconic to me. It's a little more fun. It's got a little bit more of a comedic twist because I think part of the time he's like really shaking the crap out of Link because uh, he wasn't able to get the mask. Um, you know, funny moments like that. It definitely works. Clock Town, day one. Let's skip ahead to when it gets going. So I think I love Clock Town Day One. It's definitely at least an A. Do I have it as an S? I don't think quite, but I do love Clock Town Day One. It's very easy for this song to get stuck in your head. Anytime you do a Majora's Mass playthrough, this song's bound to get stuck in your head when you're not playing the game. Fairy Fountain. So Fairy Fountain, this is basically just ripped straight from Ocarina of Time. And I would say, I just put it at the low end of B. You know, we have we have a version of Fairy Fountain in pretty much every Zelda game. And this one isn't anything particularly special. So now we have Mayor's Meeting. I do like Mayor's Meeting. It's definitely catchy. I'd probably put it on the, the higher end of B. Milk Bar. This one's really fun. In fact, when I heard this, I was like, I need to start using this in some of the videos I do. <laughs> I really like Milk Bar. So I think I'll put Milk Bar definitely at an A. It's just a really fun one. Then we have... Guru Guru Song, aka Song of Storms. So, I know it's ripped right from Ocarina of Time, but it's still an S tier in my opinion. This is one of my favorite songs in any Zelda game. Even though it's super short, it's just really, really fun to listen to. Clock Town Second Day. This might actually be my favorite iteration of the Clock Town song. So I will probably put this as a the highest A tier right now. Inside a house. So again, something ripped straight from uh, from Ocarina of Time. Again, I probably put on the low end of B. Uh, you know, preferential treatment goes to Song of Storms, aka Guru Guru Song, just because it's too good. Okay, Kamara's Dance. <laughs> it's a little piercing. 
I think this is the one that plays when you use the mask itself, not the actual Rosa sisters dancing in Clock Town. Uh, I would probably put this at like a C. Shop. Uh, again, ripped right from Ocarina of Time. Um, I think it's also just in the B, B tier. Swordsman School, here we go, original music. This one, like, I don't usually spend a ton of time in here, so I don't remember a lot of this one. Ah, huh. I think it's fine. I'd probably put it as a low B. Get a heart container. Oh, we're not doing that. <laughs> well, here's get a heart container. But anyway, Clock Town third day. This one, it's, you get a little bit of that looming, ominous sound to it. You can kind of hear it. Uh, again, Clock Town's just great. Uh, I think day two is my favorite, but I think they're all great. Keaton's Quiz. Honestly, not that great. I'd probably say ah, this might be D. It's just I wouldn't ever want to listen to it. Shooting gallery. I mean, I like the shooting gallery. I think it would have to be, even though it's, again, ripped right from Ocarina, I like it a lot. It's just fun to listen to. Rosa Sisters. So this one's definitely better than the uh, than the other Camaro's dance, uh, and again, is something that gets stuck in your head. So I would say this is uh, a B, probably above Swordsman. Mini game. Mm. Uh, again, I think this is like a low end B. It can get stuck in your head for sure. Last day. Very ominous. Let's, where do we get to like the crazy part? The very dramatic parts. This always reminds me of uh, the Anju and Cafe quest because it literally goes up to the very last moment. So I think last day I would give in the A tier. Not as fun as Milk Bar. All right, Astral Observatory. I think Astral Observatory definitely has to be up in the S tier. One of the best songs to listen to from Majora's Mask without question. Even though you don't really hear it too much, but it just is so good. And just like the kind of the room itself, I don't know. It's just very like wondrous, this moment in the game. And you always just think of like the moon tear coming down. Uh, fantastic. Zelda's theme. So it is Zelda's lullaby again, right from Ocarina. Uh, in this case, I, I think, you know, it's still definitely an A. You don't hear, I think you only hear it very briefly in the game. So then let's go to Song of Time. Oh wait, not Song of Time, sorry. We're not doing the Ocarina songs. Uh, whoops, that is another awkward. Here's the actual Song of Healing, sorry. And I'm telling you right now, this is straight up S tier. So I think this is the best version of Song of Healing. I like this version a little bit more than uh, the Clock Tower version. Okay, let us go to Termina Field. So Termina Field, even though Ocarina of Time didn't actually ever feature the main iconic Zelda theme, Majora's Mask actually did feature it, which we should hear coming up after this little intro. That was pretty similar to 
Ocarina's intro in Hyrule Field. And I think I like this one. It's not my favorite iteration of the Zelda theme, but I think it definitely belongs in the A tier. Kapora Gabora. Uh, I think this is a solid B, maybe slightly above Mayor's Meeting, just because it does get stuck in your head. And the owl does, is not as annoying in this game. Okay, now we can move down to, I think, sweet battle. Did I pass battle? Okay, here we go, battle. I'm not really a fan of this battle theme, so I'd actually probably put this in D tier. I just think of these stupid like crows or something coming out to you. I don't know, it's just not exactly my favorite battle theme. Okay, let's go to Southern Swamp. Now these are, every area basically has this music in, until you like clear it up. And this is the swamp version of it. And honestly, the, it's not the best music in the world. Like again, I think it's going with that darker dissonant theme, but um, it's not, yeah, I, ju I just think it's like C tier, I think is a good place for it. Uh, Magic, Hags, Potion Stop. Um, this is, a, I really like this theme, and even though it's just uh, Twin Rova redone from Ocarina of Time, I think it still belongs in the A tier as one of the more fun songs in the game. Again, Woods of Mystery is, uh, you know, the Lost Woods theme. So I would just throw this up in, in B tier. It's a fun theme, but nothing we haven't heard before. Boats Cruise. Uh, not super memorable. I would say this is like a C tier, to be honest. Deku Palace. Straight up to the S tier. I love the Deku Palace. And this is just a theme that, if you've ever heard like the metal versions of this song, uh, they're pretty awesome. And if you haven't, I suggest you go check it out because it's pretty, uh, pretty sick. Uh, but this, I, I really just love the Deku Palace theme. It's one of my favorite uh, tracks in the game. Moving on, we've got Woodfall Temple. And Woodfall Temple, I think, it can get a little bit annoying with some of like the shrieking noises and stuff, but um, I'd probably say it's I'd, I'd still at like it's got the atmospheric stuff going on so I'll, I'll put it as a C but again it's not something you're gonna have in your playlist I don't think I mean not gonna knock you if you if you like it but uh, yeah anyway middle mi uh, the mini boss music I do think the mini boss music is pretty darn good in this game so I would say it, it's a B tier it's definitely intense and it, it captures that feeling well Giant's theme. So Giant's theme, Oath to Order, all that, I really, really like. And to me, I think that is S tier. I don't know, the kind of like mysteriousness, the sadness, epicness, it's like all captured in one theme. And I think this theme is just incredible. So I would have to put Giant's theme Giant's theme's probably like, I mean, Guru Guru, I can move down maybe a little bit here, but Giant's theme's up there for sure. Gorman track. Uh, this is basically from OT again, um, and it's all right. I would say it's like C tier. Then Horse Race is just the faster version. Again, I would say C tier. Uh, Mountain Village. Mountain Village. Again, this is going to be like Southern Swamp, but do I like... Whichever version I like the best of like the areas, I'll put as my number one. And uh, I think this is a little bit better than Southern Swamp, 
So I'll put Mountain Village also to C tier. Goron Village. So Goron Village is, you know, same one from Ocarina that you would hear when you're in the, the Goron City. Um, again, it's fun. I would say it's uh, B tier. A lot of B tier. <laughs> but there's some true standouts. Okay, Snowhead Temple. Snowhead Temple. Yeah, dungeon music in this game is a little weird. But I think it's definitely better than the Woodfall Temple. But again, it's more of like that atmospheric. So I would say it's like a C. Where's those? Like, I know there's a little bit of piano that kind of just chimes in. There it is. But anyway, yeah, I think it's like, it's very understated. But, you know, it works. Boss battle. I think the boss battle music's also pretty good. So I would say, is it better than the mini boss music? Uh, I kind of like the mini boss music a little bit better. Um, so low end to B. Goron race. So again, it's basically the horse race theme, but with Goron sound. So uh, I would say it's a little bit more fun. I'll put it as like low, low B. So many B tier. Okay, Romani ranch. Uh, again, kind of just the opponent theme, which is, I mean, it's nice. It's relaxing. I'd say it's an A. Then we have uh, the the Bremen March, which is use the Bremen mask to to lead all the little chicks around to turn them into chickens. <laughs> this can definitely get stuck in your head. Uh, you know, a Bremen March is fun. It, it's gonna be an A tier too. And it's weird to, like, I always do this on the third day because I want the bunny hood right away. So I, it's like the earth's always shaking when I hear this music. It's kind of funny. Ghost attack. Again, when you're fighting the ghosts off of Romani Ranch. It's kind of cool. I would say, like, it's interesting. Not the type of music you usually hear in Zelda, but I'll throw it up in the B tier. Premier's Carriage. Uh, yeah, I don't remember this too much, but this is definitely something I think original. It's not in Ocarina. So, I mean, it's it's all right. Again, I'll throw, throw it up in B. If I don't know what to do, I seem to just throw it in B tier. Great Bay Coast. So I think this might be my favorite of the, this vert, you know, whether it's the swamp, the mountain village, or the Great Bay. I think Great Bay is my favorite. So it gets a low B for being the best of those. Marine research facility. I always like this song for whatever reason. So it still gets a B though. <laughs> I'm throwing everything at B, oh my god. Pirate's Fortress. Now this is pretty epic. Is it on the level as, as S, is it S tier? I don't think it's S tier, but I would say it is definitely a high A. I do love the Pirate Fortress music. Zora Hall. Again, even though it's ripped from OOT, Zora Hall is still amazing. That gets an A. It's better than Romani. It's better than... Yeah. It's, it's like mid-tier A for sure. Now we go to, I believe, Great Bay Temple. And temple music in this game, uh, it's like, yeah, this one's like so atmospheric. It's really, I think it might, I think it's better than Snowhead. So I would put it as like a higher end of C. And then 
Um, what do we got next? Icona Valley. So again, this is much like the mountain village, much like snow, um, the much like the southern swamp and the Great Bay Coast. This is the Icona kind of kingdom version. And this might be like the weakest one in my opinion. So I'd still put it at a C because they're all kind of the same song. Sharp's Curse. This I don't really remember too much. Eh, it's kind of eh to me, so I'm just going to say it's a D. You don't really hear it that much in the game. Music Box House. So this hardcore reminds me of Mario 64 and like Big Boo's Haunt. Uh, but yeah, it's the music house that's in Icona with the little girl in the house. Uh, I think it has to get an A just for the spooky factor because it's so, you know, the juxtaposition of like you're in this dead area and then you just hear this creepy music and like uh, Gibdos outside uh, for that it gets an A Iconic Castle I don't fully remember this so I, I know like where it you hear the music obviously in that in that section of the game. It's like, it's pretty cool. I'll, I'd say it's maybe, it's like high end of C, like a C plus. Okay, now here we go. Stone Tower Temple. I mean, it's, I'm already, throwing it up in the top of S tier because how can you not the other dungeon music in the game eh but stone tower temple is definitely where it's at so I'm, I'm gonna let this one play a little bit just because of how epic it is we're almost there we're almost towards the end So one of the, one of, if not the best in the game, Stone Tower Temple. And now we can go to Inverted Stone Tower Temple. So is it, I do like the original version better, but I do think Inverted is still, still S tier. So it's essentially the same song, but you get a little bit more like mystical effects going on and the instruments are a little bit different, but still really, really, really good. Okay. Calling for the Giants. So this is basically another version of Oath to Order. So I think this also has to go up in S. I don't think this version I don't think it's as good as like the traditional Giants theme one, but still pretty epic. And then Tattle and Tail. I can't remember if they used this in, I think they used this in Ocarina as well, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I think this is okay. Let's say it's a B. To the moon. So obviously this is when you get sucked into the moon, I'm pretty sure. And um, I would say this is kind of low end of C for me, maybe. Majora's Mask Battle. It's kind of similar. Again, like, I'm not crazy about this one. I would say it's like a C. 
it's, I see how they kind of have Majora's theme in there. Now Majora's Incarnation, so the second phase of the battle. Let's just skip a little ahead. So this one's just like all over the place crazy. <laughs> now, um, I don't want to say it's a D tier, but it's probably in the low end of C just because it's a little too wacky for me. Like, I get what they're trying to do, but again, as far as like how much I'm enjoying the music, I think they're going, because they're going for this dissonance, it's not meant to be like this enjoyable listen. And then Majora's Wrath, I think, is also kind of on the lower ends. And then finally, we get to the end credits. And you know, the end credits are really fun. So I would say the end credits get an A. Let's just skip ahead so we can hear more. Yeah, I think it's really fun to listen to, so I will give that an A. And there we go. That is all the music from Majora's Mask, and that took a little while, but thank you guys for uh, listening in, watching. Appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this, let me know the next game you'd like me to do the music tracks for, ranking all the music. Um, but this is where I stand. Let me know where what you guys think. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, and I'll see you guys next time.